I love the holiday season. I love decorating my house. I love putting up my tree and every single one of the ornaments when I place them on the tree, it's like greeting an old friend. I remember when I bought them or who gave them to me and they have a whole series of memories for me. And, and it lights everything up for me as soon as I get into the spirit of it. And that's been really important this year because this has been a tough year for me and for many people. 2016 really has tested us as people. You know, we, we lost some cultural icons, people who really have defined some of the generations that are here. We've had an incredibly unpredictable and crazy political season all over in Europe and in the U.S. And through all of that, one of the things that, I, as always in the holiday season, I reflect back and say, what is there to learn here? And for me, one of the deep appreciations that I have, and as I reflect back on this year, is the resilience of the human spirit. Over and over again, I see a lot of good that people are doing, and where they step up and they say no to intolerance, and they say yes to humanity. And that's really the challenge that I give all of you, just like it is for me, is looking at those places in our lives where we can expand our own humanity and embrace the humanity of others. And instead of focusing on all of our differences to actually see our commonalities. So for this moment that we have together, I ask you to take a look at 2016 and be able to identify one thing, just one thing, that was really great that happened over the course of the last year. And I challenge you to identify one of your own behaviors that you're going to change in 2017. And specifically, identify a place or a person with whom you haven't been very tolerant and that you're going to exhibit and understand them in a different way. From all of us at Connect to the Core, I wish you a blessed holiday season and an extraordinary 2017.